How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, May 14th, 2025 is the date. 10.44 p.m. California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe, a little point four across California. Somewhat of a somewhat of a noticeable increase in earthquake activity out here today across the uh, West Coast. Uh, there's one of the latest quakes up here in the Washington, 16 miles deep for an earthquake up there. Uh, more likely that's associated with the Cascadia subduction zone, but getting some trimmer activity downstream here recently, resulting in strain upstream. Here is today's trimmer map. Make sure I got the most recent data here. 453 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, not a whole lot there across Washington right now where that current earthquake is striking, but uh, in the past couple days, there's been a number of trimmers out there across the area. Uh, today's movement, a lot, of move, a lot of trimmer down here across Northern California and Southern Oregon. This is extreme Southern end of the Cascadia. 453 epicenters of trimmer. It's continuing. Uh, that gives us a total tally here, at least in the last week, of almost 3,000 epicenters. This kicked off here about 10 or 11 days or so ago. And uh, it's been uh, fairly consistent with tremor activity resulting in earthquake activity upstream towards the Cascadia subduction zone. So watching that pretty closely. A uh, number of earthquakes out here today. There's that three-pointer out across the... Um, uh, Blanco Fracture Zone, the Gorda Ridges area, that type of activity will further intensify the swarming down here as far as the trimmer goes. Uh, a couple more earthquakes upstream from the trimmer along the Gorda Plate and Northern California here. No big earthquake, obviously, yet across the Cascadia, but it it's, uh, it's gaining momentum, that's for sure. Uh, further down, San Francisco area, area, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot showing up here on the map right now. Um, one earthquake, it looks like, on the... Let's see what that's off of. The Greenville Fault, a little 1.2. As we get towards Southern California, it's starting to get a little bit more active compared to the last couple days here. 2.8 outside of Colinga today. Earlier this afternoon, it looks like. That is just right off the Parkfield segment of the San Andreas Fault. Now, the Parkfield section here uh, does have a couple earthquakes on it. Uh, looks like at least two of them. Well, very close here to the Parkfield segment and the Creeping Zone. Uh, those may actually be on the Parkfield section. Uh, the Parkfield segment is a zone here of the San Andreas Fault that uh, has regular intervals of large earthquakes of at least a six every 20 to 22 years. And the last one was back in 2004. So here we are, 2025, coming up on well, 21 years. So we could be looking at, talking about the six pointer at least here very soon. And these earthquakes that are happening just off the plate boundary here towards Kalinga could be a sign here of the strain that's been building up or building up or uh, quite possibly getting ready to produce a larger earthquake in this region. Watch that pretty closely. Uh, further down along the Bakersfield area, White Wolf Fault Zone showing some movement as well. Got some twos and ones out here. Uh, and the extreme Southern California, a handful of earthquakes out here. Look at Los Angeles starting to stir up out here across a number of fault systems. This almost looks like it's around the Puente Hills Thrust Fault. Uh, also a little bit of activity up around, oh, what's this fault system up here? That's an unnamed possible possible fault in North Hollywood. That's the area that had a, uh, I think they had an upper three here a couple months back. So Los Angeles starting to kick back up out here for earthquake activity, ramping up uh, here in the last few hours. Nothing big, but it is starting to pick up. There's some movement there off the San Andreas Fault and one right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault there. So watch that closely. West Coast starting to move out here. We're starting to get some inland quakes as well across Nevada uh, through the uh, western side here of Nevada. And, of course, over here across the Valmy area. I believe that's right. Valmy, Valmy. Quite a decent swarm going on out there. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up. Let me double check that, see what we got here for today's events. A couple earthquakes. I am seeing those on the seismograph stations here around Purple Mountain. One, two, three, maybe four earthquakes. Uh, one of those is going to be that three-pointer up 
over in Idaho that's shown up on some of the seismograph stations, but uh, there's a couple smaller earthquakes happening there on the USG or on the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations, not being reported on the USGS map yet. Uh, oil fields of Texas still getting hit. New Madrid seismic zone. This is one of the earthquakes there from this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a look at the world view. See what we got going on out here. Or is anything new? 3.1 coming in right now across the South America area. Uh, along the Prue-Chile Trench, it looks like. The Atlantic Ocean, still some movement up north here around Iceland. One earthquake out in that triple point boundary for a 3.5. Let's see here, getting some deeper activity out here across the Indonesia region. Things a little spotty in terms of large movement here in the last, at least in the last 24 hours. Uh, the largest one looks to be a 5.9 earthquake. That's a decent size earthquake, right? That's uh, a near six. 290 miles deep there underneath that area. Uh, it almost looked like that was a four magnitude ring, but uh, yeah, that's a five pointer, almost a near six pointer in there. That uh, should, should uh, stir things up out there as far as the plate movement. Japan's still seeing a handful of earthquakes out there across the Japan and Izu Trench. Nothing yet on the Nankai Trough, but uh, that's in the forecast or in the uh, in the future, I'm sure. New Zealand, a couple threes out there. Nothing major going on for now. Uh, there is some activity stirring up towards the Baja California area. That happened earlier today. Uh, that could be why we're seeing a slight increase in movement across the West Coast here now. A couple of earthquakes out there. Looks like even up around the North America and the Pacific plate boundary off the coast here of Canada. Got some movement stirring up towards this area. Uh, let me check the Canada map here real quick. See what we have for Earthquakes Canada. And, uh, well, let's see here. Not anything major going on here. A little bit of movement here across the northern end off the Cascadia, well north. The Cascadia subduction zone up here. A little bit of a swarming going on. Very small microquake activity out there off the Vancouver Island ranges there. But I don't see anything significant going on there across that area of uh, Canada for now. I'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, Cascadia has been showing some signs out there. Well, obviously, a lot of trimmer stirring up. Um, Alaska, a bunch of twos and threes, nothing major. Got some movement out there in Hawaii. Uh, latest quake shows a 3.3 off the west coast there. A uh, quick glance at the Kilauea volcano inflation data chart here. Let's pull this up. Still shows uh, we're going up. Here's our last eruption there back on the 11th. Lasted for a short period. Deflation. Now we're starting to go back up here towards our next uh, eruption event, which should happen here in a couple days or so. Pending nothing changes down below. Rinse and repeat cycle. All right, space weather activity. Things stirring up on the sun recently here, although in the last few hours kind of dropped off here after producing a number of... Uh, we had at least one good X flare here from this area and a couple M flares as well. So let's take a look, see what we got here from 4087. It uh, still has uh, some c complexity up here. There's a couple different areas of interest within that sunspot core that still harbors some potential for some uh, stronger flaring. That's about the only area of noteworthy value. There's another region way back there, just crest in the northeastern limb of the sun we'll watch that but uh let's see here yeah still fairly complex here within that sunspot core again that's 4087 that is currently harboring a beta gamma delta structure 4087 there it's growing so that's a region to watch here for some stronger flaring right now the flare threat this is uh, cons uh, a decent amount 30 percent chance for x flare M flare at 75% chance or so. And proton events up around 10% chance. So no major roars there in the forecast. 
I'll kind of watch this, see how it uh, progresses there. As 4087 continues its journey across the Earth-facing side of the sun. As far as Storm Prediction Center goes, it looks like a little bit of storminess up around the uh, northern plains for the uh, evening. Got some uh, tornado threat, wind, and a little bit of hail threats up there as well for the day tomorrow. Um, moves Kind of moves a little bit further to the east here around the Great Lakes area. Taking with it that uh, decent tornado threat. Reed Timber is going to be up there around the uh, Wisconsin area tomorrow covering maybe some tornado activity. So just be on guard for that. Some wind and uh, some decent hail threats out there as well. So be prepared for the uh, severe weather potential out there if you're around this area. Uh, I think that's about it, folks. Um, just a real quick announcement. I know we normally do our member drawing on the 15th. Uh, I've decided to switch this up and bring it to the 20th of each month from here on out. We've been doing it for about three years on the 15th of each month, but uh, a little bit uh, more beneficial if I do it around the 20th of uh, the month. So still going to do it, but we got about uh, oh, we got about five days or so before we do the member drawing. So it's going to start this month here on the 20th just an fyi um so jump on board if you haven't if you don't have a chance if you didn't get a chance yet jump on board become a member today got extra videos extra perks and all that good stuff of course member drawings where we give away cash prizes and whatnot or, or uh earth master merchandise even geology mining kit stuff we may we may add a different thing there for the uh, geology mining kit we'll see what happens but want to switch things up just a little bit keep it a little spicy uh, aside from that folks um, just kind of watch things see how it goes here that's you know, a decent amount of trimmer almost 3,000 episodes there in the last week the last month here if we include some of these other events we're looking at uh, well 4,674 trimmer events mostly down here across Northern California. And if you look here, the all data, the last time we had a decent, solid, thick area of trimmer activity was back in 2024, uh, right about oh, September leading into October, right? And then it died, well, October had some decent amounts as well. And then uh, somewhat quiet for November and then December of last year, that's when we had that seven pointer there off the uh, Cascadia subduction zone in Northern California. So uh, things are building up out here. You gotta watch this pretty closely because um, been you know it's been since last year or so since we've had that decent amount. And then prior to that, uh, somewhat quiet there towards 2023 and the beginning of 2024. But we'll watch this, see what happens. I mean. No one knows exactly what's going to happen, but I do know that trimmer activity and the scientific uh, facts here point towards increasing trimmer is, is a result of the two plates here uh, slowly slipping past one another. And when that happens, that tells us right here that the subduction zone, the Cascadia, is gaining further strain uh, out there across that locked area. Just... Uh, just got to be on guard here, folks, because that is an area that can produce some big earthquakes. All right, we'll catch you guys out here in the morning for the uh, Thursday morning update. Again, remember the member drawing is going to be held on the 20th of this month. So not tomorrow. Normally we would do it tomorrow, but from now on, from here on out, it's going to be on the 20th. All right, have a good night, folks. We'll see you guys back out here in the morning.